whenever you join a company right for example whenever this project is given to you right there will be a document will be given to you in this case you are able to see the ui but maximum time you will not able to see the ui that is the most important thing okay so what do you need to do welcome guys welcome to the testing academy and here we are again we are back with the live api testing project part 2 right this is the project that you can add to your resume also if you want to it's basically a website which basically i am using for a general it is a website where we have a full crud operation it is a rest api that you can add uh, to your resume also if it is required what we are going to do in this project is we will understand the project well right we will see what exactly we have to test in the api practically we will understand what are the steps you have to do suppose you join a particular company right what are the process that i have to follow how to write those test cases in the fire scale excel file right all these things i'm going to show you practically all these things are practically okay please note it down and we are also going to see how i have just created a postman collection what are the test cases that i have added what are the mandatory test cases you need to add for this api this is a rest api by the way and in the end i'm going to show you how you can generate a beautiful report a allure report with postman also that you can showcase to your basically qa lead qa manager also is i by side all right so without any ado let's get started in the previous video you uh, i can see you have given us lot of lot of support i can understand that people like to do live projects so that's why we are coming up with the live project right and one more thing one request if you need automation live project also right just type automation in the comment so that i can give you the next upcoming project we will do a live automation project with selenium with cybrus with playwright or anyone which you whichever you are comfortable just type automation in the chat and let's do it okay so shall we start all right so let's try to understand what exactly is the project is right first of all you need to understand the project you will get a whenever you join a company right for example whenever this project is given to you right there will be a document will be given to you a document generally which are requirements out of the requirements what exactly you will do is you will basically create a test plan out of it right test plans are generally created by the qa lead but this is how i am going to give you this is a template of a test plan that generally we use same kind of template that you can generate in the template in the test plan i have discussed already if you want to watch my previous videos what exactly is a test plan how to create a test plan also i have discussed on the testing academy channel i will put a link below okay do, do check it out after this video you can create a test plan or what type of testing that you are doing in this way the for this is the first step you have to do so what you need to do is step number 1 is basically to understand the project very very well what is this project all about okay so we are basically working with is zenler school it is a basically you can say a online school where what you can do is user can add user can basically enroll to a course right they can buy a course they can sell a course right users can basically be a part of a particular course i can delete a user i can add a user i can see which user belong to which course this all these things are available right i'm going to share the api key with you also which which will be helpful for you right automation is the need of the hour this is a wake up call for the manual testers if you want to convert to automation job ready automation tester batch is now live four months live batch saturday sunday we are going to learn about core java api automation and web automation link is in the description do check it out all the projects are live will the 24/7 doubt sessions on sd.club check out the more details so first thing that you got after this is the documentation if you see we have a public api documentation available for general that you can try out and if you see right we have different type of crud operation crud is basically create read update and delete if you see we have a get user list you can see add user if you want to add a user update a user delete a user enroll a user to a course enroll a user from a course this is how you can basically do it i hope this is clear this is the crud operation that we are going to automate right so the step number 1 is understanding right how you to have to add a student update a student enroll a student delete a student right so all these things you have to basically understand so let's see let's deep dive into the api what exactly this api talks about right so make sure you read these document very very well because the first thing you have to read is do they have any kind of authentication do they have basic auth digest auth or auth2 api key cookie any type of authentication if there is there you have to figure it out which authentication is there right if you want to know more about different type of authentication just type scroll test uh, a just type postman right you will you can read more about all type of authentication that i have discussed right here are the different type of authentication which are supported in postman all of them i have discussed what type of documentation is there what type of authentication is there that you need to understand very very well okay after understanding what happens is okay now promoter we understood this the, they are using a api key so api key is the 
authentication that they have content time they are using this except they are using this so we need a api key so from where we will get the api key if you log into the dashboard of innate academy right so right now i'm using a new one which is as that dot new new zeller.com you can also try out also okay so you will get this api key this api key i will share with you where what you can do is you can see this and you can see all the users also so all the users that we are going to add you can you see here also right so this is the ui and right now i'm showing you a ui part for example i can add a user for example pramod datta let's uh, see this is my email id blah 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 this is some address some numbers okay and click on add same thing we uh, okay what is the role okay role that let's say we have student okay let's click on add so this is the same api this is a crud operation if you see right what we have done is this is a add user api if you see this is the thing that we have done which is a add user api so it means what exactly it means is we have called this api right by th right now we have called through the ui but very when we are doing the api testing we don't have any ui right in this case so suppose we are testing this uh, api so what exactly we will do is we will immediately go to our favorite tool which is nothing but a postman so here is a postman what exactly we will do we will copy the curl request so if you have a curl request if they have given you the curl request that is good but here if you see you don't see any curl request so it means you have to create your own request what is the first time first time you will see there is an endpoint so just replace this with the endpoint if you see right go to the body right let me change this this there is empty one okay what else we need what else we need second thing we need is authorization any headers that is required yes so they are telling you in the headers what we need is we need a x api key account name and content type right so here we are going to change the api key as that which is because as that is there and i'm going to change the api key also this is my api key this is the as that that we have changed these are the content type they have given to us right and the body part let's say what is the body part they are telling you body part they are telling you what you can do in the add user you can type first name last name email password commission and role role is basically what type of role you have four is basically if you type role four basically means it is a student let's say this is the commission which is 10 percent random variable this is some email id which we have added random email id and this is a dynamic variable added by the postman that i have discussed in the postman tutorials right so when you click on send you will see a magic happens so you will see there is a 201 created which means people uh, we are able to successfully add a student let's see on a, a ui also let's see if we are able to do it or not so here you will see when the this api is successful right you will see there is a new student which is added here isn't it amazing so it means what is the process we are basically following up first of all we understood the project we understood the crud right we have understood the api documentation so step number one is clear api documentation is clear from this now what we have done is we have prepared our test plan also now and we have basically seen that everything is working fine but the problem here is very important which is in this case you are able to see the ui but maximum time you will not able to see the ui that is the most important thing okay so what do you need to do what else is the step what are the different steps we have to do how to perform the step number two and step number three right we will see in the next video thanks a lot for watching i hope you're liking this video make sure you type automation we'll cover the step number two how to write the test cases how to write uh, in a proper test case with ivan i'm going to give you a template also right and in the next one how to run and create a lo report also cyber side in the step three all right just type automation in the comment and give me a like i'll see you in the next video Bye.